And Haley Burke's now joining us here in the postgame. Congratulations, Haley. Outstanding all-around effort again tonight uh, out of you. Uh, I guess the first question I've got to ask, uh, front row, back row, does it matter to you where you're at? Not really. I like front row, definitely. But <laughs> I don't mind playing back row. I like hitting back row attacks, so it's pretty fun. <laughs> Which is more fun for you, back row attacks or, or getting that overpass at the net? <laughs> the overpass by far. <laughs> I love those. But you got one on that 24th point there in game three. What was going through your head at that point so that you made sure you got that hit where you needed it to be? Um, I wasn't thinking at all. I just hit it. <laughs> when I overthink things, it does not end up well. <laughs> Good start for your ball club tonight. Uh, how did you guys come out so relaxed? and what really was the early game plan? Um, we had a really good two days of practice, which like for us, it always we know that when we practice well, it's going to be a good game and we like focused all day and we were just ready for it. Early on, uh, you guys seemed to be in a rhythm hitting the ball. Uh, what was working so well and, and what did you feel the most comfortable with it? Not just you, but kind of it looked like as a team out on the floor. Well, we practiced hitting spots in practice, and so once we hit those, I mean, it worked, and so we just kept hitting them over and over and over, and that's how we got so many kills. Well, I know Woodward Granger also kind of known as a good passing team. Uh, talk about the aggressive serves tonight. Uh, jump serves really seem to be working for you in that first game, game and a half. We had really practiced like serving aggressive, and that is what threw them off because their hitters couldn't hit because they couldn't pass, and that's what really helped us out. It seemed like Haley, you guys got up 20 to 10 in that first game. They called a timeout and kind of went on not really a run, but kind of trimmed that lead down. Then you guys got the final couple of points to close out that game. Did you feel like they were starting to settle in a little bit at that point? Um, kind of. You could tell they were getting more relaxed, but we were still kind of we were comfortable. <laughs> Did you ever feel like you were really pressured in this match? Um, it was a time in the third game where I was questioning it a little bit, but then I was like, we're ahead by like five, we're fine. <laughs> Did, did you feel like coming into that third game up 2-0 that you couldn't have that relax, that just kind of let down a little bit and you needed to put them away in three? Yeah, because we had a tendency to go two and then kind of lollygag the third and not do so well, but we had we came out determined and we were ready. What do you got to do to beat either Gundry Center or West Marshall next Wednesday? We have to get more accurate serving and um, improve our hitting still and uh, definitely defense. That's a big struggle. <laughs> one last question for you. I just thought of this one. That ball you tipped over the back of your head. Uh, is that a shot you practice all the time? No, I honestly thought that they were going to call me for that. And usually Boyd, usually Boyd yells at me for setting it backwards over the net, but it worked. So I was like, okay. So are you saying you got away with one there? Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely illegal. I tell you what, Haley, great job tonight. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Haley Burks again with.